Hello, and welcome back to Hotel Greenwood. Last we left off, we were trying to uh, complete a satanic ritual. For some reason, just an everyday activity in the life of a YouTube horror gamer. Uh, so let's continue a horror game. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, based on, well, my task list as a detective, I have to complete the ritual. And one of the ways that I started doing that was by finding candles. Uh, that being said, I think I'm going to look around these rooms for candles. And I want to say down at the bottom of the basement. Probably where we're going to find... Oh, I just walked through blood. Oh, God. Um, it's probably where we're going to find where we need to put those candles. I believe I already picked this up. The staff card. Uh, so, can... <laughs> Oh, it's starting me back here. <laughs> yeah, it still scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I, once I picked up that staff card, I realized, oh god, it put me back to this part, uh, where it's still really fucking dark outside. Well, I think anywhere in this is really dark. So, can I go ahead and, oh, this was the radio room. That's right. Um, so now that I found that staff card, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just try to check all of the rooms that I've been into for candles. I think it's a good plan, right? Yeah, and this kind of gives me a, a hint what I'm kind of looking out for. So, uh, I was wondering why in my inventory I didn't see any candles. That's because it started me back here. That's right. Okay. We're just going to try all these doors until we find an open one. And... Candle? Candle! Yay. How exciting. We're moving a little bit closer to our satanic ritual. Jump for joy, everyone. Uh, that means we're on the... Third floor, maybe? I don't remember. Um, yeah, we're on the third floor. Okay. Go back down to two, check out some of those rooms. Uh, let's start with the first area we were in. It's like a static sound right here. I don't know. So, 210, no. I'm trying all these rooms because I don't quite remember what I have, what I've seen. Why is it that I cannot... Uh... Okay, well, another candle. So we're up to two. Oh, this is Chinese food room. Not it. Can I go in this bathroom now? No, I can't. All right, that room is searched. I almost feel like closing some of these doors. Uh, three. How many do I need? I'm trying to think of like the points on a pentagram. Like, as if I'm some expert. Um, six, seven, seven, I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. So I'm up to three. Okay. That's still a feature. I wonder why some doors you can just knock on. Um, I don't know. Wow, this room is right. Here's four. Cool. Cool, cool. Because there's nothing I can do with that staff card. Maybe it's kind of the offering in the ritual. Yeah, it's really strange, that knocking. Uh, 251. Wasn't this a room that I had a key for? Or I found? Hopefully I didn't lose that much progress. 
I just realized there's a bloody cross on both sides of that. Okay. Well, this is new. It forced me to look in this direction, and... Ah. Okay. It's a little freaky. Door shut. Great. So now you want me to go in there. Oh, this door was always closed. Oh, come on. What if I don't want to go in there? Okay, I'll go in there. What you got? <laughs> just a really loud sound. That's kind of a dick move. You brought me in here just to do that. Uh, is there a light switch I can turn on in here? Do anything? This, this is the door. Is there anything behind the door? No, you just brought me in here to be a dick. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. We should do this more often. Uh, what is that? Uh, anything I can take? It's a can of soda. Nope. Nothing I need in here. Okay. Well, the game knows I'm kind of making progress, I guess. Um, yeah, I already checked all those rooms. So I'm up to four candles. Back down here. Any in the room now that the mannequin's missing? This is a box full of candles. <laughs> okay. All right. We need to talk about this game. Don't have a fake box of candles when all I think I'm doing is searching for candles. I'll play along though. Just, just remember, game. Dick move. And in this game, did I open this drawer yet? Oh, I haven't opened this yet. So I have to go to 245. I think 245, I find... That's the room that I find a candle and a lighter. That's what I haven't done yet. Are you shitting me? Is the door flat out gone now? The front door? You took away the front fucking door? Yeah, this... I... <laughs> All right. Are those my footsteps? What? Why? Huh. All right. Well, I'll go up to 245. That was interesting. So I guess now what's triggering is when I'm getting those candles. Uh, 245. Is it down here? I think. Like, it's at the end of the hall? Let's see if I remember right. No, that's 251. I I did get 245, right? Yeah. 249. That's 250. 248. 246. Oh, I think 245 is like this one here. Yeah. Yeah, it was. There it goes. Hello, glorious light. Bathe me in your wonder. Candle. I'm going to need a lighter to light the candles. So, so far we are up to five candles. Great, I've gathered all the materials. Oh, good. So now I go back down. Hmm. Okay, first floor. And we're going down to the basement. Don't fuck with me, game. It sounds like electric sort of flickering. Can I try to open this? No. Oh, I just opened it. No, okay, hold on. I don't know whether I was supposed to do that or not. Because I know I need to go into like... Oh. Could I could I fix this? <coughs> I'm not a qualified electrician. Oh dude. You okay? You gonna make it? Oh Jesus. Is that my blood? Is there something I can do with this? All these sparking wires, like one of these is not wired up. 
Did I just blow the power for the entire building? No, well, some lights are still on. All right, so I think I'm going <laughs> to... You said not to open this room. But I think I'm going to check it out. <gasps> oh. Uh-huh. So I don't think I can go in that room. All right, I'm just going to close it back up. That was just meant to be another trap room. Oh, okay. So now the lights are completely off in here. What if I didn't touch that electrical panel? Would something have happened? I feel like I just fucked everything up. Okay, so now we're going back in this room. Is uh, that guy still laying down? Maybe? Indeed he is. So, are you just going to be here to hang out and watch this, or what? Um, this is where I was supposed to go? Yes, complete the ritual, I get that. Where is, you know what I did notice, is I picked up a note on this table in my last uh, game here. Uh, don't mind me laying down, guy. Uh, which it was a note. Final note. I don't know how long I've been here. It's like time is frozen. The demons don't let me live or die. Maybe I'm already dead. Who knows? My soul is getting weaker by the day. I have nothing left to eat, and worst of all, is it with people on hunger in this game? I may have found a way out of this situation, but I have no strength left to do it. The only way to break the spell and release Ashley, for this I need five candles an item belonging to Ashley, her ID card. After all, the materials are found, they should be placed on the pentagram I drew on the ground. So the spell cast on Ashley that night will be gone, at least I hope so. And anyway, it doesn't matter what I say, I am now dead and faithless. I have a feeling this was already done, and now this will trap me, maybe? I have this strange feeling that's what's going to happen. So let's let's hover over to the candles here, right? Can I I can use this for ritual? Great. How do I use said items for ritual? Because you drew the pentagram. Can I move this chair? Oh, I had to go to this side of the room. Calm down. That guy's probably awake now. Wait, where did he go? Thank you. Does that mean I'm trapped now? List updated tab to check. Reach the exit. Yeah, I've got this really bad feeling about this. Uh, so I freed him... And that's what one of the notes are saying, is somebody kind of takes their place. Uh, I freed him, so... Well, I feel like I kind of moved it. Oh, here we go. But now this probably means I'm trapped. All right, let's check it out. It is your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, the door reappeared, but... I don't think that's going to happen. Seems too easy. I I almost want to check something really quick. What if I don't go straight to the exit? What if I just kind of go up here? I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for like an Easter egg or something, even though this isn't like one of those Easter egg games. I just feel like we're going to see a bunch of goats dancing up here to disco music. No. All right, let's 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 go towards the exit. Yeah, this isn't going to work. No way. Uh, 
Is that me? Huh? Yep. The young detective Aaron Parker, on the night of October 6, he went to investigate the Greenwood Hotel. But after that day, he was never heard from again. No body or any clue was found in the hotel. During the search, uh, no, during the search period, okay? After the reactions, the authorities decided to demolish the hotel, and since then, it has been buried in history along with Aaron Parker and Ashley Anderson. Good job, uh, developer. Good sounds, amazing kind of visuals. It did remind me a lot of, um, in the dead of night, you know, like Jimmy and the crowbar and all that. That was a unique game, but it was very similar. Um, you're very welcome for playing. I definitely enjoyed this. I, I really did. I didn't quite care for the whole look in drawer, find key. Now you have that key to go do another key based kind of activity. But it still was unique in a way where there were some good jump scares in this. Um, I did kind of see the ending before it happened, but that's that's fine. I mean, the note pretty much told me what was going to happen. Um, but I enjoyed it. I, I really did. And uh, yeah, if if the developer continues along this, this road with, with games like he did here, or they did, um, then uh, I would love to play something else or or just be a part of that or see it or whatever it is but in either case uh, it wasn't much longer until i beat the game i could have just probably committed to it and left it there but i'll leave it there and uh maybe you guys will play it for yourselves so thank you for watching and until next time